Coach, I hope you feel the love that I'm sure you're getting through this video and, and the love that you're, you hopefully are feeling at your party. Coach, there's a, a bond is the best way to say it, but there's a bond between all of us that have played for you over the years. Whether we were on the same team or not, we were all in the same program. That's Coach Dallas's program. And uh, one thing you did for, for all of us, Coach, you, you not only made us all better baseball players, but you made us all better men, Coach. And that I want to thank you for. Some of us, some of us have carried on your tradition. And you've, and you've all in, you've influenced every one of us coaching wise that, that have gone on to coach. It breaks a lot of our hearts, coach, I know because we talk about it, that uh, your legacy is pretty much all but gone at Globe High School, the Globe Tiger Baseball that we all know, it's gone, coach, it's, uh, it's gone. You and I have talked about it. Uh, everybody that, that's in this room has probably talked about it at one point or another, it breaks our heart. But I want you to know, Coach, your legacy's not gone. It's not gone, it lives through all of us. It lives through the guys that have gone on to coach at other programs, and your legacy lives through other programs, Coach. Combs High School, Chandler High School, San Carlos High School, Miami High School. I know, I know a lot of you are cringing right now, but the Coach Dallas legacy's moved over to the other side of the hill and, and now the orange and black take some butt whippings from, from these guys now, Coach, but it's all because of you. It's all because of what you taught me and what you've taught everybody in this uh, in this video and in this in this room or or wherever you're watching this, Coach, just know that uh, that everybody loves you and everybody everybody uh, respects you, Coach, for what you've done for all of us, baseball-wise, life-wise, everything, Coach. Just remember, you not only made us better baseball players, some of us better coaches, but you've made every one of us better men, Coach. For that, we thank you, and we love you, Coach. Hey, Coach Dallas, I'm Gino Picardo here. I know it's been a long time, but we only have about 90 seconds to try to say a lot. But I'll sum it up like this. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your leadership, your commitment, your dedication, and your selflessness for coaching us all these years. I know all of us didn't make it up to, to college ball or to professional ball, but what I can guarantee is the majority of us probably coached baseball a time or two. I know I coached my sons growing up, uh, had a club baseball team. And what you need to know is because of you, we all emulated your coaching abilities and your coaching style. So your legacy will go on for generations. And again, I just want to thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you real soon, and I'm hoping you have a good night. I have many memories on the baseball field, and many things that I learned but I would have to say the biggest thing that I've taken from my dad and from just being a part of this baseball family is that everything in between those white lines you have to work for. Nothing comes easy and nothing is going to be given to you. So hard work is the only way that you're going to get the things that you want on the baseball field or in your work life or your family life. It's, it's nothing now, there's nothing out there that's just going to be given to you. And I would have to say that growing up, you know, with baseball as life, I recognized at a very early age that hard work and the respect of the game takes you to a whole nother level um, than you could ever imagine. And those things right there and the hard work that I learn from that young age has gotten me to where I'm at today and it, it would have never been possible without you dad and you know I think a lot of the guys here today are are very fortunate to have somebody like you in their life as I was of course and and I appreciate you for that and for leaving us all with a legacy to, to hand on to our families 
and everybody around us to teach them the way that you know we were taught and a lot of that was the baseball values that you instilled in us and we created a dynasty together as many of us were on winning teams you know for a majority of our career and with all that just has brought me and taught me to be the man I am today so I thank you for that hey coach Dallas Glad we were able to join you tonight in this celebration and tribute to you. It's a long time coming, well deserved. Um, I just wanted to thank you for everything that you instilled in my life, and um, I have no words to tell you what kind of influence you made in my life. I wouldn't have turned out half the man that I am uh, without your support and your help as a young man. Um, taught me a lot about being a friend, being a coach, um, taught me the love of the game and to be a player of the game. And I have lived my life that way and I just want to thank you. And I'd like to end this on, I'm never ever going to give you back the stadiums that you think, that you keep telling me that I owe you. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to happen. So have a good time and um, hopefully um, I'll be at your party, thanks. Hey coach, you know, when I was in Little League you would be at the games and you would uh, you'd be walking around talking to the parents and, and just having you there, it felt like I was getting recruited by a major league coach and it always felt good. And then in junior high I would go to the varsity games and uh, I'd watch guys like Travis Alexander and I would see you coaching third and I just thought you guys were seven feet tall and I thought it was the best team in the world and all I wanted to do is, is play varsity baseball for Coach Dallas. And uh, for four years I got my chance and uh, you were tough, you were hard-nosed, stubborn and uh, kind of an asshole. I've always wanted to say that. Uh, you, taught me, you taught me to fear losing, you taught me to practice my ass off and strive to win and, and because of all that uh, we would win and uh, we won a lot of games. We won four conference championships, uh, two state championships, and went to three. Uh, we won a ton of games. My senior year, I remember the exact moment when I realized that you cared more about us than you did about winning, because I always, always think it was about winning, but uh, it was actually after a loss, you took some of us seniors into the dugout and you you gave us some, some we, had, we had a long talk that I won't talk about, but uh, afterwards, you um, reminded us that you were an asshole by pissing on our bags and uh, telling us to get the fuck out of the dugout. Uh, some of my greatest moments, friendships, honors, took place on the baseball field with you coaching. And uh, in college, because of that, I wore lucky number 13. And uh, my son actually just last season made the All-Stars for, for his little league. And uh, I put him in number 13 as well. And I'll end by saying this, for, uh, for a little freckled-faced kid that grew up in a trailer park uh, that didn't have a father at home, <clears throat> it felt damn good to have one on the baseball field. So thank you, Coach. Love you. One of the biggest things that I took away from my father is leadership. Day in and day out, that man worked his ass off to be the best coach that he could be for us so we could win, right? I mean, if he's asking us to hustle in between those lines, he's asking us to work hard in those cages, he's asking us to give it 110%. He was doing the same thing. You know, he wasn't out there in those bars drinking all Saturday night. He was at home. He was studying. He was watching games. He was trying to see how and what we had to do to win. And that's leaders. You know, he was setting a good example for us as kids. So when we grew up, we're grown up now that we can be that leader and I don't think I would be where I am today if I hadn't had that example growing up on and off the field and I don't think a lot of us would so thank you hey coach Dallas Gordon Martin out here in Florida class of 91 uh, real sorry I couldn't be there uh, but I'm sure you guys are having a blast and, and enjoying each other's company and, and fellowship and visit um, just wanted to say thank you uh, for the time you put into all of us and, and everything you taught us. Uh, and something I was reflecting on was, uh, I'm sure several of us have been coaches or served in the military and uh, taught a different, a lot of different people and a lot of different things. 
and I know myself have used a, a lot of what you taught um, in teaching others uh, the passion that you had for, for what you did and, and passing that on to us and, and how much you enjoyed the game of baseball and teaching the game of baseball to all of us. Um, playing baseball for you and, and Globe Tigers was one of the greatest times of my life. Um, playing a state championship, beating Miami in the, in the semifinals. Uh, I reflect on that often and, and uh, think just, just what a wonderful time of my life that it, that was. Um, something uh, that was mentioned was uh, uh, trying to think of something something funny or, or, or something that, that I can remember. One of, the, one of the biggest things I remember was uh, Brandon Powell was, was carpooling. It must have been like five of us one day. And naturally, we were we were late to the bus. Uh, we got there. I think we were like an hour late. And we were going to Coolidge or something like that. And uh, I remember the one and only time I ever got ever got to see the the the, the wrath of Coach Dallas. Um, it was one of those ones where you were screaming and hollering, and it, it was always funny because when you got mad, your 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 sky blue eyes always got about that big, and and your finger always seemed to come like this. And from way back here and just give it to us all day long like that. And uh, I was glad that that was the only time I, I ever had to um, hear that or be a part of that. But uh, I'll never forget that. It was a good butt chewing. Uh, it was one of uh, many more to come uh, in, in my military career that I did. So um, again, I wish you all the best. Uh, wish I could be there with you all. Uh, and I hope you all enjoy your time together. Thank you. Coach Dallas, Rigo Lopez here, class of 1996. One of my favorite quotes is by the Reverend Billy Graham. He says, a coach will impact more people in one year than the average person does in a lifetime. And that quote is talking about you, coach. You've impacted so many lives over the years, and I'm grateful that one of those has been mine. Uh, you've done this in a variety of ways by the standard of excellence that you set, uh, your uh, drive to make us the best both on and off the field, uh, the mental toughness you imparted in us, the passion for us to pursue our dreams and our goals in so many other ways. And I'm grateful to have played for you, Coach. And I'm also fortunate uh, to have played both for your first ever uh, state championship team as well as your runner-up team. And I look back and reflect on that and it's just, I saw in you a stable man both when we won and that year that we lost the state championship and that's the kind of man that I want to be a man that's dependable both in the highs and the lows of life um, but also coach uh, you taught us that baseball was more than wins and losses you taught us that it's about relationships grateful for my teammates over the years and uh, grateful for you bringing TJ and Dusty around and I want to be that kind of family man as well. So thank you, Coach, for your love, your influence, uh, your leadership, and I'll be always grateful for you. I love you, Coach. God bless you. Hey, Coach Steve. Sorry I couldn't be there, but I'm glad these guys put this together for you. You know, you've always been more to us than just a baseball coach. Hey, you're a football coach, too. <laughs> hey, guys, don't forget Coach D was also the D-backs coach and the receivers coach, so guys like me and Stephen York and Jeff Bear, we got a double dose of Coach D. Now, nah, but all joking aside, though, you know, you taught us how to be winners. Paradoxically, you kind of taught us how to how to be winners by teaching us about losing. You know, you taught us to hate it. 45s for every run we lost by. Yeah, I hate losing. <laughs> I think Spoon probably hates it more than the rest of us, though. So you also taught us to learn from it. Fix a problem and bow your neck and make something good happen. You know, sometimes you even taught us that losing is necessary. Remember when you scheduled Choya for us that last game of the 97 season? You know, they were supposed to beat us. You know, they were supposed to, to set us up to, so we wouldn't get overconfident and go flat and cocky into the playoffs. You know, we wound up winning that game, but your point wasn't lost on us. Sometimes experiencing defeat is necessary because it can build character, build drive, and build determination. You know, probably one of the most important things, though, that I learned from you was never walk on Coach D's field, don't wear your hat backwards, don't talk to the umpire, don't throw your equipment, and tuck your shirt in. <laughs> so my point is this, you taught us respect. You know, when you're on a team, you're a part of something bigger than yourself. 
you know, I, I just want to say that I thank God that I got to be on your team, Coach D. And uh, thank you for everything you've done for me and for everyone here tonight. So, God bless. I want to thank you, Coach Dallas, for being the great coach that you are. You always told us that if we practice hard, it would show on the day of the game. I think we always um, left it out there between the lines. Not only did you teach us the game of the baseball, but I think you taught us about the game of my life, that if you put in hard work, you could be successful. And that shows what you taught us. Um, yourself, you got your, your teams to the state championships, and you won a couple of state championships. That says a lot about you. Thank you for showing some young boys from Globe that if you put in the hard work, um, you could be successful, and it will carry over into your life afterward. I think we're all proud to have played for you, and I think you're one of the best coaches that Globe ever had. Thank you, Coach Dallas. So we were asked to send in a video um, for Scott to Coach Dallas. Um, Scott loved Coach Dallas. Um, I know that they didn't always see eye to eye. I think that was probably a common thing between Coach Dallas and a lot of boys because he was so regimen and boys don't really like to listen to a lot of things. But Scott loved and appreciated Coach Dallas and I think even more so when he became an adult, he really appreciated what he did for him uh, during his younger years. Um, I don't really know what to say exactly, except that Coach Dallas is an awesome man and Scott really thought highly of him. So we just want to congratulate him for the award he's getting and just to let all the boys know that um, Scott loved you all and he loved Coach Dallas. And um, I guess that's it. So thank you very much and thank you for remembering Scott. Hey Coach. Hey, I was asked to go ahead and talk about uh, a story or things that I learned from you uh, as a player in four years of Globe High School. And I would have to say that uh, it was your calm, caring demeanor, kind of like Mr. Rogers. No, that's not it. Actually, Coach, um, what I would have to tell you is, is thank you. The lessons that you taught this kid really got me through four years of West Point through Ranger School and really through a 25-year career in the Army. And uh, it was all about discipline and hard work. And you laid the foundations that, in which that I kind of relied on for a long time and I'm forever grateful for it. Coach, you, you taught us the value of, of hard work, the value of being focused on a goal. And, you know, and it was not just about talent. And it was not about luck. God knows I didn't have any talent. And most of the times I was, but the one thing that you taught me was that luck looks a lot like hard work. And because of that, I'm, I'm forever grateful. Thanks, Coach. You're screaming at me, Jake. You're screaming at me. Hey, Coach. Jacob Boykin here, second baseman. That was an impression of, of you to me after I was pouting on the field for making an error or something uh i uh hopefully i caught the the intensity in your eyes there uh, i still see those eyes uh in nightmares <clears throat> now in all seriousness coach uh really appreciate all the life lessons you taught me on and off the field whether that's uh maintaining your composure uh being dedicated to a craft and getting getting better at that each and every day um or realizing that it's uh, being good at the little things in life uh, that's going to make you successful. So those are those are uh, lessons that, that have always steered me in a positive direction throughout my life. And uh, I couldn't say enough about you, Coach. Those 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 type of things going to be passed on from generation to generation. So uh, this is about my tenth time doing this video, trying to make this thing. Um, so it's about the best that I've gotten and uh, that's, all, that's all you're going to get man, that's all you're going to get out of me. So um, like I say, I appreciate you coach and, and you deserve all the respect and uh, uh, gratitude that, that all of us can offer you. Hey D, how are you doing today? I'm glad you're enjoying your time with uh, some of the former baseball players from Globe High School. 
and the ones wh whose lives you've touched. I want to thank John Scroggum and all the rest of you guys there that are, are, are participating in thanking Coach Dallas for the time he spent in Globe, Arizona. Two things that come to mind. One, when Dallas first began teaching at Globe High School, the very first day I was a sophomore, 15 years old, and we saw Coach Dallas and he looked like maybe a seventh grader. And we couldn't understand how he could possibly be a teacher. Well, it turned out he turned out to be what a great teacher and a great mentor, not to mention a great baseball coach. One issue or topic that I remember Coach Dallas and how he touched my life was I was a varsity catcher my senior year. I didn't get to bat in practice. I didn't get to bat in the first six games. They DH'd me. And I would go after our practice, the JV would practice, I would go over to Coach Dallas's practice. He would work with my batting and I would work with his catchers. On game seven, they let me bat. I remember we were in Safford, the varsity field faced one direction, the JV field faced the opposite direction, where our varsity field center right and their left center uh, touched each other by a fence, were separated by a fence. Bases were loaded, my first time up to bat. First pitch, I cracked the ball clean over the center fielder's head on the JV field. I just wanted to make sure Dallas saw me doing that. I went on to hit two more home runs that game and a triple. I had 13 RBIs and of course we lost the game 14 to 13. But it was Coach Dallas who, who put the confidence in me and the know-how that I knew I was going to hit that baseball and I knew I was going to hit it hard. From that point on, I led the team in RBIs and home runs. Coach Dallas, thank you for the memory. The last thing I want to say is that we can only hope we have a legacy or that we leave a legacy. Most only dream of that. Coach Dallas, you have definitely left your legacy for generations of young men to come and your ideology in baseball and manhood. I appreciate that you taught me to overcome failure, no matter, no matter what failure comes our, my way. I've had to use it in my lifetime. I hope you enjoy your day with all the young men that you mentored. God bless you, I love you, I miss you. See you later. Well, there you go, Coach. As you can tell by these videos and by the conversations that you're having tonight with, with the guys, that you are loved and you are appreciated for everything that you've done for us. Um, we've, uh, we've come to understand throughout uh, time uh, those important lessons that you were teaching on the baseball field, uh, that they weren't always just about baseball, that they were about life in general, about how to treat people and, and uh, what to expect out of ourselves and what to expect out of others. Uh, you and I have had uh, very lengthy conversations from everything from raising kids to, uh, to coaching baseball and, and beyond. And uh, I uh, attribute a lot of my success to coaching baseball. I've got behind me uh, years of, uh, of pictures of, of coaching at Globe and at Combs. And uh, uh, without your help, I probably wouldn't have won a single ball game. Uh, so uh, I, I appreciate the guidance that you have given me uh, as a coach. Um, I also appreciate everything you've done for me and, uh, when things got rocky, uh, whether it being coaching or in life, and how you were always there to take a phone call and, and uh, 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 back me off the ledge a little bit. But you were also there to celebrate the good times. I remember you were the first one to call me when I won my first uh, official varsity baseball game. Um, and it just went to, to, to show uh, that, uh, that you thought it was important to let, to let me know, and, and uh, that's how you've been. Uh, throughout my life. You've always been there for me uh, and I, uh, I'm greatly uh, appreciative of, of everything you've done. Um, so I hope tonight you're enjoying this tribute to you. Um, I hope that uh, Brandon Powell doesn't talk your ear off and that we get a chance to talk to you. Uh, so enjoy the night, buddy. Love you.